poor vision. No teeth. It looks like he's wearing a little vest and he has a 41 centimeter long tongue. This is my favorite animal here at the Costa Rica Sanctuary. It is the Northern Tamandua, one of the four species of anteaters in the world. And he is the smaller cousin of the giant anteater. And although they are both insectivores, they love snacking on ants. The difference is, besides the size of course, that the tamandua is actually an excellent climber. Almost like a monkey, it's incredible. While the giant anteater prefers to stay on the ground. The tamandua has a very long prehensile tail, which he uses as a fifth limb to balance himself in a canopy. A tamandua can eat up to 9,000 ants in a day. So how does he do it? Well, for starters, he has strong forelimbs and sharp claws, which he uses to break open the termite nests. Afterwards, he will use his incredibly long tongue that is covered in tiny sticky spines to mop up all the ants. His narrow head is also perfectly adapted to fit in the holes of termite nests. When tamanduas feel threatened, they will rear up on their hind legs and flare out these sharp claws. This is actually the second time that I've met a tamandua. While I was working at the Yanacocha Rescue Center in Ecuador, a southern tamandua was brought in. Because people found him in their garden getting attacked by their dog. This tamandua was completely black, however, which is a very rare pigment mutation for tamanduas. I immediately noticed that this Costa Rican tamandua had the same very distinct odor as the tamandua I've met in Ecuador. A bit stinky, to be honest. So I did some research, and as it turns out, just like skunks, when a predator gets too close, all tamanduas have the special power to release from anal glands a stinky spray that is even more powerful than the skunk spray. So for anyone that is thinking a tamandua would make a cute pet, I would think twice. Anteater noses are wet, just like dogs. It helps them to pick up extra chemicals and smells in the air. Both of my tamandua friends also made recognizable sniffing and sneezing sounds. Indeed, tamanduas might have a bad eyesight, but they sure make up for it with their quirky nose that is constantly snuffing around. However, anteater numbers are dwindling. In Costa Rica, no other animal gets killed more in road traffic accidents than the northern tamandua. And that's precisely how this guy ended up here. When he was young, he injured himself on the road and was brought into a rescue center and afterwards to this sanctuary. Because unfortunately, he never learned the necessary survival skills to survive in the wild. And therefore, he can't be released. He has a good life here though, with plenty of space, over 50 trees here in the slot garden, and of course, more ants than he can chew. It also seems like he's getting along pretty well with this resident Scarlet Macau. <laughs> Enough? Mm. <laughs> it's like a cake. 